Luton weren't playing as well as they can, but they did take an early lead. Allenson's corner, Mark Steen's volley, Harper's head. One up in no time. And but they did take an early lead. Allenson's corner, Mark Steen's volley, Harper's head. One up in no time. But there was little time to enjoy that. Their defence was surprisingly ragged and looking at the strike They seemed to have a lot of time and space in midfield. And it wasn't much of a surprise when Michael Jorts equalised. Suddenly, this was a miserable afternoon for Luton, and when Jilks burst through again, Tim Breaker tackles, inside or outside the area, inside, says referee John Martin. And it's Joe Bevan's kick. It's 2-1. The second half, and Reading won't stop running and chasing. A sortie by Neil Smiley opens up Luton again, and Mickey Tate does the rest. It's all over for Luton this time. The Reading were enjoying themselves. A jink by Lyndon Jones, a lucky bounce, and Smiley bangs it in. Luton won't want this experience against Arsenal, seeing the opposition grab the spoils. Luton supporters and the players can look forward, of course, to another Wembley appearance. What do you think you've learned from this one? Uh, there is a way of playing at Wembley. There is a way of playing... Uh on a big pitch in the cup tie and uh, we didn't do it today. But you have an opportunity, I know, to make it up to your supporters. You have an opportunity to do it again here. That's something. We're lucky, aren't we? We're lucky. We've got a semi-final in the FA Cup. So they're lucky players, really, to have another chance. How many people get a second chance? Hopefully they don't waste it. As they all conceded, this wasn't Luton's day. 